Hey guys, it's Hank here. I got a heavily infected virtual computer that has a ton of potentially unwanted PUP frets. Um, what these programs are, these programs are basically just junkware. Uh, well, they're called uh, potentially unwanted programs. They're nothing but junk. Um, uh, this computer is littered with them, and um, these programs normally get installed when you're downloading software online and when you're running in the installation of software and you don't uncheck boxes and you end up getting these type of programs installed on your computer and what they do is they just cause havoc with your computer you can see here my virtual computer is just littered with these type of pups and uh... potentially unwanted programs is what they're called right and uh... you'll see here that they're just no benefit to the user. Uh, they actually just cause havoc on your computer. They slow it down. You can see here I got all kinds of them running. And um, if I click on my uh, task manager, you can see we got all sorts of processes running here. If you go into my performance here, CPU usage was at 100% earlier. I bet if I start running a scan, it will go up to 100%. So th you can see these these uh, programs and they, you can see all they just slow the system down and uh, they're gonna list that you got all kinds of problems with the computer uh, but the thing is before you can't do anything unless you uh, registered for the full for, for the full program and uh, it's not worth it because it's just a ripoff um, you can see they're just popping up all over the place here there you go, my CPU usage is consistently bogged down at 100%. This computer is just bogged down by all these uh, potentially unwanted programs. So you can see there's no benefit to the user if you try to buy it or try to remove any of these problems that it's found. Um, it's just going to bring up a website and get you to purchase the full version. So, uh, yeah. In order to uh, remove any of this stuff, it, it, you see it wants me to purchase the full program. So uh, again, don't purchase this program. It's just a ripoff. You see I've got another one of these things here. You see if I go fix it now, there we go. It goes to their website. And you see what they want. They want twenty nine dollars for this. Again, don't pay these guys uh, any money because it's uh, it's just scam. You also notice that they have like a number that you can call up a one eight hundred number um, on some of these. And uh, go ahead and do not call these because they'll just rip you off. Anyways, I'm going to show you how you can completely get rid of all these potentially unwanted programs off your system for free. And uh, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using the junkware removal tool from Bleeping Computers website and uh, ADW Cleaner and Malwarebytes anti-malware. And uh, we'll also use the control panel and uninstall the program. So the very first step that you want to do in removing these frets that are on your system is you want to download yourself a copy of uh, junkware removal tool. Now I will be leaving the link for this in the description box. I've already downloaded it here. You can see it's right on my desktop here. So what you want to do is you want to go ahead and download a copy of Junkware Removal Tool. I'll have the link in the description box. You want to open it up, click yes, and uh, it will open up the command prompt here. And it's going to say that Junkware Removal Tool will tell you it's from Malwarebytes. And uh, you'll have this thing down here, press any key to continue. Go ahead and press any key to continue and that will create a system restore point up. And the reason why this creates a system restore point up and then it goes and looks at processes and starts terminating them. And you can see here that all those windows are now closing down. Now if you go in here, you can see down here that they're all being terminated. So uh, what this junkware removal tool is doing is it's going in and it's turning off these processes. If you go into task manager, you can see that the CPU usage now is going down again, which is good. It's never a good thing to have it at 100%. And uh, you can see now we're freeing up some space. It's now pulsing at 100%, but that's normal. You can see the CPU usage is now going down.
And you can see here that it's searching startup locations, scheduled task services, file systems, and browsers for other uh, threats. So uh, just let this uh, program run. Now it's not going to terminate them all. You can see we have a couple of them left that are running, so you can exit out of them when you want. Anyhow, just let it run for a moment here. And when it's done running, it's going to pop up a, a log report here. I just made the font a bit bigger so you guys can see. And it's going to tell you what it's found and deleted. And you can see here that it's deleted all kinds of programs right here that are uh, like Red Clean Pro, Driver Backup that we saw, uh, Advanced System Optimizer Protection uh, Protector. Uh, you can see here it's deleted all kinds of the registry keys associated with the programs. You can go in and look at and see what it's found, what it's removed. Um, after that, you can exit out of the log report. And because we have some of these programs still left over, because Junkware Removal 2 is not going to get rid of them all, what you're going to do next is you're going to go into the uh, control panel. So uh, go ahead and go into the control panel on your start menu, click control panel. Click on install a program, and in here you're going to go ahead and look for any more of those potentially unwanted softwares like Advanced File Optimizer right here. Right click on install. There's nothing really special to this. It's just uh, pretty. It's pretty easy to do. Um, as you can see, I got a lot of them in here, so it may take it some time depending on how many. Of them you guys have in here. So again, on install. And uh, yeah, just keep on installing them. Just give me a minute here. And for some of them, you can actually right click your desktop, and actually right click on the icons, right click on the icons, go into properties, open file location, and in here you'll find an uninstall, you know, file. And sometimes you can just do it that way and also uninstall it right that way as well. So uh, just give me a minute here while I clean up my computer for a bit. As I said here, it's nothing special. Just right click on install. You may even have entries left over of programs that were removed by Junkware Removal Tool. So you sometimes you may get an error saying that it's already been removed or it's no longer on your computer. Just click yes, and uh, you can see here we're getting we're getting there. As you can see here, this may take some time depending on how many of them you have. Anyhow, for some of the ones right click, properties, open file location. You can even probably try to delete the contents in here if you want. Now you're not going to be able to get them all. Unless that's just going to be the case. So, uh, 
Anyhow, delete the icons off the desktop. Alright, so now that you've done that, you're going to run um, ADW Cleaner, and we're going to go over it with ADW Cleaner and just do another scan of her computer to find out all the uh, leftover software that was or leftover traces that wasn't removed yet. Because chances are we still have bits and pieces of it and traces of them left over. So download ADW Cleaner. The link is in my description box of the video. Run it. Go ahead, have her run it. Uh, a scan of uh, ADW Cleaner here. I have to update my copy, but you know, download your copy of ADW Cleaner. It's not down one. Let me do an extra search for it. Oh, here we go. As I said, download ADW Cleaner. Taking a while for some reason here. Just give it some time. Alright, so once you downloaded ADW Cleaner, let it run agree to the license agreement. Um, just going to download another update here, real quick. Alright, so once you get ADW Cleaner open, have a go at that, click scan, and it will go ahead and we'll scan for any traces left over. There's a good chance it's going to find a lot of uh, traces left over of this uh, stuff. So, uh, just let it scan here. see here it's found a whole bunch of uh, leftover traces of the programs yep there you can see it um, uh, red clean right there and uh, registry keys that are left over so uh, once you're done the scan you can go and you can check and see all the kind of files and stuff that it's found the leftover traces of this and uh, what you're gonna do is you're gonna click clean Click OK, and that's going to go ahead and remove the leftover traces, and we'll have to restart our computer here. So uh, let's just reboot the system up.
All right, now, now we are logging back, back into the computer here. And it's, it's going to populate another log report and tell you what it's deleted, deleted here. So you can go over the log report if you want. What is down, what is deleted, just exit that. And uh, the next thing you want to do is you want to put in Malwarebytes on your computer, all right? So you can download Malwarebytes, the link's in the description box. If you're one of the people that get infected by these potentially unwanted programs, I really recommend you have Malwarebytes on your system because it will help you. And uh, just install Malwarebytes and run the scan just to double check for anything that is left over. Accept the end user license agreement. Next, 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 next. I recommend you purchase the full version of Malwarebytes if you're a person that ends up getting these unwanted programs installed on the computer. And uh, I'm not going to make do a video of doing the whole scan process because it would take too long. But uh, get in Malwarebytes installed, run a scan, and then uh, just go over it with Malwarebytes and uh, you should be good to go. Make sure you update it. It will automatically update. Scan now. Let it scan. The scan will probably take 25 minutes, maybe to an hour, depending on how much files you have on your computer. The more files, the more longer the scan is going to take. So, uh, at this time, I'm going to end the video. Thanks for watching. And as I said, if you guys are getting infected by unwanted programs like that, download the full version of this uh, software. And uh, yeah, go ahead, scan your system with malware bytes find anything that's uh, left over and uh, it will allow you to remove it for free. So if you enjoy my videos, please remember to comment, write, and subscribe. And uh, thanks for watching.